in this video we are going to discuss um, how we can uh, pass user data for our um, uh, Azure VM. So generally whenever we are launching an EC2 instance in AWS we can give commands to that server right that instance. So when the instance launched for the first time those commands are going to execute automatically when instance launched. Right, so similar way, we do have an option here in Azure. So you can like, you know, uh, write down all the scripts and you can simply pass that uh, scripts while launching this Azure VM. So those all commands are going to execute. So in AWS, we call it as a user data. So in Azure, we are going to call this as a custom data. All right, so I'm going to choose an existing resource group, compute RG, and I'm going to call this as CentOS, and I'm going to launch it in Central India, standard, and I'm going to use CentOS. So as I um, mentioned uh, in our last video, so that, um, um, you know, uh, Red Hat have some issues with that firewall, right? So that's why I'm, going with uh, CentOS uh, this time and I'm going with the free service eligible one and I'm going with SSH public key. I already have a key that is uh, Azure Linux. I'm going to use it and I'm going to open HTTP port number also. So then uh, when coming to networking, so make sure you have a public IP address here and uh, then navigate to advanced and uh, under custom data you can start giving all your commands i'm going to initialize the bash so i'm giving shebang bin slash bash so then we can give the commands so for example i want to install stdpd package so i'm giving yum install stdpd then i want to start the stdpd service service stdpd start so i want to make it as a logon service so basically the logon service is right so even after reboot also this stdpd service is going to start automatically so then instead of the default uh, web page or default test web page i'm going to generate a simple uh, command with the help of echo I'm going to give header one. I'm going to call this as, this is my uh, custom data web page, and I'm going to close that header, and I'm going to write this output to a file under var www.html. There I'm going to create a file with the name called index.html. All right, so this is the, script i want to pass to this uh, vm while launching itself so then click on review and create and it will perform the validations so it is uh, running the validation the validation has passed just click on create now our resource creation is initialized the deployment is happening so once the deployment happened Without logging to that Azure VM, we should able to get the uh, output, whatever the one we are generating with the help of echo command. So that should um, write into that um, var www.html path. There it need to create a file with the name called index.html and it should deliver. All right, we got the public IP address here. I'm going to grab that public IP address and um, let's give that here. So seems that installation is happening. Just wait for uh, a minute or two, not even minute or two. It's not going to take that much time actually. All right, you can see that here. So this is my custom data web page. I have not even get connected to this uh, Azure VM. So, but 
uh, the, the user data, the custom, custom data I have passed here to this machine. So did all that installation and started the service and it created the web page. So if you want to double check, you can get connected to this Azure VM and uh, you can also uh, verify uh, the status or command histories and all, right? So this option is useful. Uh, like, you know, if you want to pass uh, commands, same commands again and again to multiple EC2, multiple uh, Azure VMs. All right, um, that's it for uh, this video. Thank you guys.